Hi, it's Terry Gaines. In this video, I'm going to give you some assembly tips on a fun fold card. Before I start the project, I want to share the product I'm going to use on the card. I'm going to use some new product in Stampin' Up's 2022-2023 annual catalog. It's a collection of product called the Sun Prints. A collection is purchasing four items with one code number, or you can purchase the items separately. There's a 3D folder with a fern image. I'm going to be using that. There's a stamp set and a coordinating dies. I'm going to be using those. The stamp set has some images that all can be cut out with the dies. There's some beautiful sentiments along with a background stamp and then some additional dies in the dies that will cut out other images. I'm going to be using that. The collection also has some designer series paper. It's 12 by 12 in size. It coordinates with these four Stampin' Up! exclusive colors. As I mentioned, it's 12 by 12. You get four or six, um, six double-sided prints, two of each of the double-sided prints. Let me rephrase that. It's 12 by 12. You get two each of six double-sided prints. And they're absolutely beautiful designs. And as I mentioned, it's double-sided and coordinates with those four exclusive colors. Absolutely beautiful. When I get done assembling this project, I have some other cards made with some other new product. If you like this, you're gonna love the other product I have to share with you. So this is the coordinating cardstock. I am going to be using the Starry Sky color. So for the card, we need a card base that is seven inches by five and a half, and it is scored at three, I'm sorry, at one and three eighths. So I'm gonna score it at one and three eighths and at five and five eighths. So I'm going to score that side. So both of these scores are folded in and you would crease those. And you would want to decorate this. Um, you could stamp it, you could add some, some additional designer series paper. I am actually going to place this in this 3D folder, run it through my cut and emboss machine, and it comes out with the beautiful fern 3D emboss on it. And it does emboss the inside too, but that's going to be perfect for how I'm going to decorate this card. You also need cardstock that's coordinating, and that is two and three quarters by five and a half, and designer series paper that is one and a quarter by five and a half. So we're going to assemble the card base and then we'll talk about the decorative image. So I've got this all cut here. I'm going to grab my adhesive. So what we're going to do, and this is what you would do if you want to repeat this project, is you'd put adhesive on the back of your designer series paper. And we know that this is, two, I'm going to just use this edge. We know that this is two and three quarters, and that will tell us that we want to place this right in the middle with three quarters of an inch on both sides. So I'm going to push this up to my Simply Scoring tool and have it, I have it at seven. I'm gonna go up to the three quarters inch and I'm going to place that down. And then I have it on this side. So now that you have that adhered, you can look at this and you can determine what you want to be the top and the bottom of your card. What we're going to do is adhere it to just the left panel of this card base. And what I'm going to do, I'm right-handed. So I, I like to turn it upside down. So this is going to be my top. So I'm gonna just turn this upside down. And what I'm going to do is place it in the center, bring these down and look for equal spacing for that cardstock width. So my designer series paper is right in the middle. And then I'm going to hold this open put my adhesive just along that edge and fold that down. So as I mentioned, I'm right-handed. I like turning that upside down. So my card's gonna open like this. Now we're gonna work on the decorative image. We're done with the Simply Scoring tool, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. For the decorative image, I'm going to be using another new die set. And I just had that, here it is. Um, this is called the stylish shape dies. So your decorative image can be different shapes. I'm going to show you some samples using some different shapes when I'm done. But I decided to use these new dies. You have some circles, squares, and some banners. 
So I cut out the colored cardstock with the large. I'm going to use one for the inside, one for the outside. Then I took the next layer die down and I cut that out of the very vanilla cardstock and I stamped this ahead of time. That will be for the inside and this will be for the outside. I'm going to use the three stamps and three coordinating dies to also embellish the outside. And I'm going to show you how I like to use the Stamparatus to stamp my images. So what I like to do is take my dies, run them through my die cutting machine to just get, get my images cut out. Then what I will do is I will place my, get my Stamparatus out. I like using the grid paper that you get, you can purchase. It doesn't come with the Stamparatus, it's a, an add-on. I place that down, I take the two magnets, and I hold that paper in place. I put painter's tape on my magnets to um, create little handles. So what I would do is place the stamps down on this paper, bring the plate down and pick those up. So I did that part ahead of time. Then what I will do is take my ink, ink up my all three of my stamps here and bring it down to my grid paper. And that's going to tell me the placement of each one of those. Now I have these cut out. I also have a mask or the reverse. So I created these templates. So what I'm going to do, I'll just do the middle one right here. What I'll do, I only do one at a time. I put this down so I'm surrounding my stamped image and then I place the magnet down to hold this template in place. A couple notes because I have two additional stamps here. You want to make sure that the magnet doesn't go over this image. You need to leave room for that stamp to come down. Get that all set up. Then you can take your blank cut out, place that in, ink up your stamp, and we're just working with one stamp at a time. Bring that down, put some pressure down, and now you've got your image all inked up. Now sometimes it's hard to get that out. I just push down on that template and then pop that out. If it happens to shift, if this template shifts on you, you just have to reassemble or realign it and then you can work with your, um, just repeat that. I like to, especially if I'm making multiple cards, this works really well to do that. To clean off the stamps, I like using the Stamparatus, or the Stamparatus, this is the Stamparatus, the chamois. It comes in one piece. I cut it in half, then I cut that half into another half. So I cut it into quarters. You run it under the faucet to get it damp wring out the water and then you can bring it right to your um, stamps, clean those off and then get ready for another color. I absolutely love that for stamping die cuts. So I did that ahead of time. So let me bring the other two in. So that's already prepped. I um, Let's see, let's get back to our card and let's do this assembly. So what I'm going to do first is put the inside piece in. So I'm going to layer my square, very vanilla square on top of the star, starry sky. This is gonna go on the inside. So I'm going to open up the card here and I'm going to place this about equal spacing top and bottom and place this down. So that's on the inside. We're going to adhere these two together, and this will be on the outside. And watch for equal spacing to get uh, even border on all those sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn this one on an uh, angle like this, and I'm going to use tear and tape. I only want this adhered to this panel, and I'm, go I'm going to use the tear and tape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over and put tear and tape, which is a strong adhesive that just goes on the point of that. And when I place this down, I've got about an inch and a half. I'm just going to go right in the center along that very vanilla edge. 
because this adhesive is so strong, I'm just gonna put about one inch of adhesive on there. Take the backing off. Take the backing off on this piece. And then what I can do is just lift this up. Do not let the adhesive touch until I find equal spacing on top and bottom. And the point of that is right in the center. And then when I can bring that down, that's a great way to make sure you don't have exposed adhesive on the edge here. So now we're gonna finish the decorating part. I have all three of these images that I'm going to use. I'm going to put adhesive on the back of these two. And I'm going to place this one off in this direction. This one is going to go off in this direction. I'm just putting the adhesive down here. I don't want any exposed adhesive here. For this one, I'm going to use dimensionals. They will give a little dimension to this. I'm going to just add three on the bottom and the take your pick tool works great to get your backings off. And then I'm going to place this down like so. I think I forgot to bring the stamped images I had to put on here to finish this off, but let me show you a card that I've already finished using the same concept. So what I have on the other side of the room is a stamped sentiment with the circle and the border here that what I would do for that is I actually have all of these die cuts here. So this will help. So what I have, but it's the wrong color, but just envision this. So, whoops, I made a mistake. My videos are unedited. And what I would do is I would place my dimensional here, here, and here. And this happens to be the wrong color, but this would be the larger circle here. Just this would be the reverse colors here. Then I take that backing off and then I bring my image down. So that would finish it off. So. Um, this would be how I'd finish this one off. And then I took some of the Baker's Twine. We have an assortment of Baker's Twine. There's some very vanilla in there. I make a bow. I use a mini glue dot to attach that, and that would finish off the card. Now, I mentioned that there is some additional product that I thought you would love. If you love the Sun Prince paper, you are going to love the um, pretty prints paper. It is the very same designs in the paper. There are six different designs and it comes in three sheets or 12 sheets, three of this color combination, three of this color combination, three of this color combination, and three of that. So it coordinates with these 12 exclusive Stampin' Up! colors. And as I mentioned, it is the very same design and what I did was I made some of these cards using this paper so you could see um, just how you can take this same design and use different colors and make some beautiful cards so this is using the sun prints this is using the pretty prints which is all in the new annual catalog which you can purchase items from it starting May 3rd I also have shared this fun fold card in the past. I will have a video link or a link on my blog to the um, Flowering Fields Designer Series paper in the mini catalog and the tulip dies. I've created this card in the past and I have a video for that. And I also have a couple more cards that are created using the Blessings of Home and the um, Heart and Home Designer Series paper which is in Stampin' Up's mini catalog. And these are um, two different designs. So this one, as you can see, is just the image attached. And I colored the paper in. This is the same paper here. I colored in with the natural tone blends. So I hope you enjoyed this fun fold card and sorry about the oops on that one. If you found me via YouTube, there'll be a direct link to my blog post where you can get the measurements for this card and links to a video for the other card. Thanks for stopping by. I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the red 
click the red box under the video, then select the red bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Take care and happy creating.